We are learning some more about a bacteria that has shut down animal intake at Indianapolis Animal Care Services. And staff believes two dogs have died from a bacterial strain. It's also known as Strep Zoo. Fox 59's Hannah Fullman walks us through the seriousness of this illness and how the shelter is now working to prevent the spread. A serious illness is impacting many animals at IACS right now. Streptococcus equizoo epidemicus, or in simpler terms, strep zoo. This is an illness that is based in the respiratory system and can produce uh, coughing, nasal discharge, and a number of other symptoms. The respiratory illness is found in dogs, but can also impact cats and in very rare cases, humans. Health experts say it can progress quickly and cause a variety of problems. Those bacterial infections can be quite serious, particularly in, in concentrated populations of animals. And so we work closely with those facilities and their veterinarians to determine the best course moving forward. Out of over 400 animals at the shelter, IACS confirmed at least two dogs have likely died from the strain and many others are being treated with antibiotics. As of this moment, um, we don't have sufficient testing to say which have been infected, uh, but we are, as I'd said, treating this with abundance of caution and looking to mitigate the potential for spread. Health experts say the best way to stop the spread is to limit contact between animals exposed to the strain and healthy ones. Hence why IACS decided to pause intake on any new animals to the shelter. When you have animal populations that are moving in and out of facilities, those challenges exist as opposed to someone who has a dog or cat in their private residence. And when asked if the overcrowding problem had anything to do with the recent spread, this was the response. Certainly overcrowding is not something that benefits uh, any shelter in the animal's health, whether that's stress or uh, some sort of communicable disease. For now, reporting in Indianapolis, Hannah Fullman, Fox 59 News.